If you have ever experienced lag or slowness in a video game, it was most likely due to a combination of high latency and low throughput. Latency and throughput are two most important measures of performance of any software system. They are actually simple concepts but are often misunderstood and used incorrectly during technical discussions around performance of a software system. But they are not really the same. In this video, I'll clarify these terms so that you can use them confidently in your tech discussions or design interviews. Latency is basically how long does it take for data to go from one point of system to the other point. And it could be different things. For example, network latency means how long does it take for your network request to go from the client, let's say you, to the server, say Google server for example, and back to the client. Machine latency is when you are reading data from a memory or disk. An estimate for how long does it take to send one IP packet, which is typically as small as just 1000 bytes, as a network request from California to Netherlands and back to California is 150,000 microseconds. That is latency. Reading 1 MB of data from memory takes about 250 microseconds, which is really fast. 1 MB from SSD drive will take you about 1000 microseconds. 1 MB over 1 gigabytes per second network can take you about 1000 microseconds. And 1 MB from your hard disk drive will take you about 20,000 microseconds. Now these numbers are not for you to remember, but just to realize the magnitude. Now when designing the system, certain systems are sensitive to latency, such as video games. Certain websites might care less about latency, but care more about accuracy and uptime, such as airline booking systems. It's always wise to think about these trade-offs in your system design interview. Now we said latency is how long does it take for data to go from one point of system to other point. Throughput is how much amount of work a computer can perform in a given amount of time. An example is how much data can be transferred from one point of your system to another point in your system. And this might be measured in Mbps or megabits per second or Gbps which is gigabits per second. Now your internet download speed might be 50 Mbps, meaning your ISP or internet service provider can transfer 50 megabits of content a second to you over your network. Another example is how many requests your server can process in a second or HTTP requests per second. And so if there are way too many requests coming to your server in a given amount of time, it can affect the server throughput by making it slow. Now increasing your throughput can be done by vertical scaling that is upgrading your server so that they can request more quickly, which is often limited, or by horizontal scaling, by adding more servers to your system so you can process more requests simultaneously. Finally, you can have a system which has both low latency and might have low throughput as well. They are not necessarily correlated, so don't assume them to be dependent on each other. And if you have enjoyed this video, please do subscribe and check out my other videos on system design interview series.